I eventually decided to part off a section in the middle of my head and I flat twisted it to keep it out of the way. When I got to the end of that flat twist, I decided to cornrow the next section and then I alternated between flat twists and cornrows throughout my head. I mixed Design Essentials Masterpiece Setting Lotion with water and sprayed that throughout the center of my head. I took smaller sections, added a little water because my hair started to dry, and then I two strand twisted my hair. When I got to the end of the twist, I added a perm rod. I sat underneath the dryer for 30 minutes. I should have sat under there longer, but I didn't have time. If you prefer, you can also let your hair air dry. Here's the final result of my hair. I think I do like it. Um, I had to like put some bobby pins in it to over direct the hair in the front this way because I didn't want it to look like I just didn't know how to part in the middle of my head because I did want it to be side on the side. So since my hair is shorter, it's not really going over to the side like I want it to, but I don't want it flat either. So this is how it came out. And I think I would have liked it better if I would have actually had enough time to let it sit and dry, but I didn't, so that's okay. A lot of people can't tell the difference between twists and cornrows, like when they're just looking at your hair. So it probably doesn't look too different to some people, but I just wanted to do something a little different. I do have two more videos of my niece's hair that I did um, that I used the same curling method on theirs and I actually let their hair dry. So um, be sure to look at those videos if you want to see how the curls come out on longer hair and when you actually let it dry. So I will see y'all again later. Bye!